tennis nerds, I hope all is well. At the time of talking to you, I'm packing to go to Spain tomorrow. We'll stay there for a while. And I know some of you have been asking for more coaching content, which I did last time I was there. And there will be more of that coming up. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe, like, turn on notifications, all that jazz. Wanted to talk today about more upcoming reviews which is something I have in the pipeline. There have been quite a few racket releases, not all of them super vital, but still. One of them that maybe is not super vital to you is this blacked out uh, night session racket of the Wilson Blade. They have the Pro Staff and the Clash as well. Uh, so this one I find interesting. It looks great, actually. I find that it shines quite nicely and has this more of a color shifting uh, appeal when it's uh, under the floodlight. So I played with that the other day. You can see it here on the screen. Good paint can get scratched a bit on the gray marks. That actually gives it its kind of color shifting appeal. Uh, the one that kind of absorbs the light. So they seem to scratch a bit. So you have to be a bit careful when you string. So uh, if you're very meticulous, maybe you have that as, as a point. Otherwise, I kind of like blacked out frames and I think this one looks great, but there's nothing wrong with the current blade racket design either. And the cosmetic of that one is pretty cool. So if you don't like it or you want something new, this one is out. The night session rackets look cool under the lights, I must say. But whether that's important to you or not, that's another story. The Blade, as you know, is a good control racket. And uh, it delivers good precision and not much power if you need of that. So you know the story about the Blade. I reviewed that previously. I also want to give a shout out to Carl Bookbinder from stringing.com. He sent me this frame. He thought I should test his stealth stringing method. I don't know what this involves. Uh, it's kind of a secret source of his operation, but he's very proud of it. And it's actually a very nice string job. He strung this at a very low tension, 35 pounds, and it still played with good control. Obviously, this is a control-oriented racket, the 1618 version of the 6195. Uh, but big thanks to Carl for, for letting me test this frame and his stringing capabilities. This is Head Hawk Touch, uh, which is a string I really like. So I've enjoyed hitting with this. Sadly, the frame is 347 swing weight, so it's a bit much for my game. But I still enjoyed playing with it. And uh, shout out to Carl and stringing.com. If you want help with rackets and get a good string job, you should check it out. And I can see that he's a very skilled stringer with loads and loads of experience. I'm testing a string called RPM Blast Orange. It looks like this. I'm testing it in the E-Zone 100. I also tried it in my soft drive. Uh, the E-Zone 100 is a racket I like to use quite often, to be honest. It's a racket that is very forgiving. It gives me extra power. And when I play better players, uh, power is what I need help with. When I play players on my level a bit weaker, I can play with pretty much whatever and it's fine. I enjoy it. But when I play better players, I need more help to generate pace. And then this one does the job. So uh, the combination of the RPM Blast Orange in this frame, uh, it worked well, uh, I must say. It is a stiffer string, so you need to take care with the tension. If you have any arm issues, I wouldn't try the, the RPM Blast. But if you're a player that likes to hit hard and you want a control-oriented string that gives you a lot of confidence to swing out, RPM Blast is great either in its black original ver version or this orange one. Depends on what you like. Usually, the livelier the color, the livelier the feel. These are small differences, but it's still there. So if you have a Hyper G Solinko, for example, it's going to play livelier than a Torbite and so on. Kind of as a rule of thumb. And no exact science, perhaps, but I think most of us racket nerds that talk about this notice the same patterns. So the orange one is a little bit softer, tiny bit more lively, and more happens, more movement than the regular black RPM Blast, but still a very control-oriented and firm string. Good one. I liked it in this frame, and a full review will come. Quick commercial break. Thanks to Play Your Court. They have this great platform out where you can find a hitting partner or a coach, which opens up more of a pool of players, which is very important. I think sometimes it's, you struggle to find good hitting partners of the same level and you keep hitting with the same persons over and over. So it's good to mix it up. It helps you elevate your tennis. So join their platform is 50% off using my link that's in the description. I have received the new Ultra version four, the 100 square inch option. There's 108, 100 light and 100 ultra light. This one is still light enough for most intermediate to advanced players because the swing weight was 281. 
unstrung, obviously, and with strings you have 309, 310. The thing with that is a bit low, generally. Uh, you, you would want a bit more weight on the ball. I felt like I couldn't generate enough uh, power and lacked some stability on, on certain shots. So after adding two grams up in the hoop, which is my kind of standard first try to see how it changes, actually added 2.5 or 3 grams even, it bumped up the swing weight to 322, strung with all the power 1.25 gauge, and the racket played much better, in my opinion. Obviously this is up to you, so when you get a racket you can customize if you're up for that with tungsten tape, copper tape, or, or lead tape. But I felt like the racket needed that. I must say that it feels better than the predecessor, which I didn't review very favorably, as you might know. So this one is definitely an improvement. How much of an improvement? You have to stay tuned for my review. First impressions with footage will come on Patreon. So patreon.com slash tennis nerd for you who want to support tennis nerd and get some extra content every week. And I've been testing a new racket from an American brand called Fury. This is the Arma Pro 98, and uh, this has been a positive experience overall. Written some about it already on my Patreon with some footage, but there will be a review uh, as soon as they have their new website up, which should be rather soon. And that was what I promised them, that I would wait a bit until you can actually check this frame out with specifications and so on. And it also helps me because I don't know much besides it being 98 square inches, 305 grams, and the swing weight that is a little bit towards kind of a blade 1820, a bit beefier swing weight, which is thumbs up from me. A very solid frame, no need of weight, and actually a good feel to it. So, review to come, Fury 98. Check this one out. So, there's some racket updates. Obviously, we've had tennis happen as well. There's not been much in terms of pro players changing gear that I've noticed, at least. If you have tips, leave them in the comments, send me a message on the contact us form. I'm always keen to follow up what's happening on the pro tours. I'm also reviewing shoes. I tried a new Nike Court NXT shoes and they're really good. I actually very much like these shoes. The issue players seem to have with them is the durability. So far so good. I'm not that far into the play test, so I will keep playing with them a bit more before I complete the review. I'm also bringing a Yonex Fusion Rev shoe to Marbella and Spain, and I'm going to use it on the clay. We don't have many clay courts here. We actually have only one in Malta, which is very bad. But in Spain, I like to play on the clay. My niece says thank you, and I enjoy it a lot. So I will use this clay court shoe and perhaps try some other shoes as well. And I want to thank our sponsor, Fuzzy Yellow Balls, and highlight their product called Crush It. It's a module in their app. You can check it out on App Store, the Fuzzy Yellow Balls app. And they have Crush It, which teaches you to use your kinetic chain in achieving more power, something we all pretty much need. And I feel like I got some very good tips already just from the serve module, which is free. You can check out the twist rotation drill to get a teaser of this in the link below. So check that one out for free. See if that's something you, you would like and it's something that could help you improve. There's also forehands and backhands of this Crush It module. So check out the Fuzzy Yellow Balls app. That's all. I hope you enjoy the content. Please like, subscribe, share, and whatever. And check me out on Instagram and other channels. If you have any tips on content you would like to see in the future, let me know that in the comments below. Have a nice day now, and don't forget to play some tennis.